Go. Go, little machine. Go. Go. You can do it. Hey guys, we are back at it this morning on this machine. I had stopped the video when I came kind of to a stopping point and we have been without that machine all week and we actually had one of those Illinois keys come in uh, with that angle cut so I had to hand file the cut. So I need to get this machine back in operation and I've never taken down, I just thought about doing this live but I don't think I'm going to. So the main thing is basically with this motor is it doesn't feel that bad. It could use some, you know, probably TLC. The motor says after three years, normal service, uh, real bearings manually with 10 drops of 5W30 oil. That's actually the same oil that I have in my truck, but I don't have any of that oil actually in a container in my truck to use however and i'm spinning this and it spins really pretty smooth for to have never been open to my knowledge yes uh after 20 plus years of use when it says every three years now i've never cracked open one of these motors and i just realized i probably could have just released the clamps right here and pop the motor off and left the bracket that was kind of dumb of me because i'm gonna have to take the brackets off anyway i don't know what i'm doing i'm a i'm a locksmith damn it not a motor electrician but before i um do that i also came over here to check the spinning of this and it has definitely got some tension there so i don't really think the motor has anything wrong with it other than needing the light service however i'm gonna have to take the blade off of this and pull it out and clean it and maybe some really fine sandpaper and smooth out that shaft because it feels there's a lot of resistance right here and then the resistance is less right there so this shaft has gotten bent and that may be because of us, you know, brushing keys for a minute on this. Last time I changed this was in June, looks like, or almost July. And putting that continual pressure on that shaft may have actually done some issues there. So I'm going to have to take that blade off as well, pull that out, fix it. This is the automatic deal for this, and I kind of showed y'all how it works, but uh, I've I've messed around with it a couple of times, but I didn't like it at all. I mean, it works, it works, and uh, maybe I'll demonstrate it later, but I don't ever use that, and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and take it off because I don't use it at all and just wire directly. However, then I was like, well, I'm going to have to get that screw out, which means I'm going to have to take this off, and that's when I found out this, and I was like, oh, well, i got to take it off anyway. So I don't know whether I'm just going to leave this. This is actually, this has no function. It's just bolted in like the motor was other than the automatic. And since we never use the automatic, I could take this off and it would uh, allow me to clean it a little bit easier. But I guess, I don't know. There's no reason to take it out. And if I take it out, what am I going to do with it? If somebody wants to use the machine and use that function down the road, so be it. I'm going to leave it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it. No doubt, that, no doubt about it. And going back to the oil, I have, I happen to have something that's probably better than 5W30. This is uh, Santa Ana, California. I know some, a few of you guys might be over in that area. Uh, highest quality turbine lubricating oil. So I imagine it even says on here, ideal for industrial equipment, electric motors from a third horsepower to five horsepower. This is, what is this? What was this? Horsepower. Oh, that's an eighth horsepower. Ew. Huh. Well, close enough. Because that's all I've got.
Oh yeah. And things are probably gonna get messy. Last thing, hammer, sandpaper, just in case. Just to re-clarify this, I've never taken apart a motor before. I've done a lot of carburetor work on four wheelers and stuff like that, but I've never actually disassembled a motor. So, of course, my initial instinct was to go to YouTube. I watched approximately one video, not even the whole video. I just kind of skipped through it, probably like most of y'all do to my stuff. Uh, but, um, yes, like you'll probably do with this video. <sighs> Where was I? Oh, um, yes, never done this before. So, uh, let's get started. Why not? Got recordings going on all over the place. Got camera angles every which way. And, uh, using, uh, oh, my tip's getting rounded on this one. Go ahead and take this off now. It was loose because I'd already um, pounded it out. And I'll go back to the point about these clamps. I could have easily have just clamped these, unscrewed these, I'm assuming. These, is that a felt? I can't see it, no. So yeah, I could have easily unscrewed these and uh, left the mounting brackets. However, in my defense, uh, the machine needed cleaning underneath this area anyway. So, yeah, no big deal. So this is a pressure clamp, looks like. It just clamps on. We need to screw a little bit more out. And these little wing things. Go over it, so there's one, Ew. and two. Now I can go bolt this back on the machine since I've already cleaned it, which was my point, which is why I removed the whole thing, of course. And uh, just snap it back into place with these little wing doodads. Go left, right. And this just lifts out, I'm assuming. Yep. However, this does make it a really good, oh shit, it's got a ground screw. Ground screw to Major Tom. Now, uh, so, Lift off. Ew, that needs to be clean. See, exactly. This is exactly why ugh, I wanted to take the whole thing off. That's what I'm talking about. However, again, we can go throw this back on the thing. And uh, here's where paper towels come into play. This is all fine shavings, y'all. Key shavings, of course. So ideally, this is different from other motors. You know, most motors are not gonna be experienced in this kind of, these little fine, fine key shavings that I'm sure is horrible if it gets up in a bearing. Um, of course, that's why this motor is a sealed, I guess, motor. And, uh, this needs to be serviced. There is a little cap right here that we could unscrew to drop oil down in on each side. So before we fully take it apart, I'm gonna go uh, get some contact cleaner and I'm gonna do this outside, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna spray contact cleaner all over this to get rid of some of that crap. And then I may just Unscrew these doodads. I don't know if I'm going to take this fully apart or not. It may not be necessary because I think the main problem is the shaft in there and the switch, obviously. But uh, I'll put oil in here after we hose off all the filings and then we'll go. We'll see what it, see how it is. It is kind of rough. So maybe just oil down those things will help. In the meantime, then we can go back over to the other machine 
or I'm gonna hose this off as well. Ugh, so gross. Of course, it's gonna get dirty like instantly, but at least I can say it has had its 20 year cleaning, right? <laughs> so I'll be right back after I spray all this off with contact cleaner. So yes, yeah, so I'm supposed to be recording this. We have a visitor in the shop who's probably gonna stay very quiet. <clears throat> and he is observing my efforts to repair this motor and I had pulled these little plugs out here which I thought were screws but they just pulled right out so sprayed it off with QD electronic cleaner and <laughs> he's over here smoking he's like oh my god so we're gonna put 10 drops where were we on the drops here two three I think so yeah Three, eight. that was not a drop, that was a full strain. All right. Oh, I can hear it. So it's not bad, it's making a little a very slight grinding noise. Mm. More oil. Probably not a great idea to overflow it, but if it hadn't had oil in whatever, oh, that's full. Not had oil in a long time. It's gritty. Now, oh, shoot, I guess we're gonna have to crack it open. So, let's get started doing that. Okay, we are, it's still gritty sounding to me. So, I'm gonna take this plate off and See what our wiring looks like. Because mm. I don't know whether I'm going to have to disconnect this or not to take the machine apart. We're getting quite the pile of little parts here, too. Glad I have video to go back on. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Actually, I could probably just take this part off. Don't want to lose that. Um, and let the wire stretch through without having to do anything. Maybe. My assistant over here said take the plate off and I should be able to get to the bearings, but it is sealed. There's plastic, like a plastic cup here. And I uh, can almost see the bearing, but obviously we're just gonna have to take it apart. So let's take this bitch apart. Oh, one thing that I thought of my idea is to do this two two three three that way when I put it back together I will put it back together correctly oh messed up the paint job from 95 we think Could go get my fancy crescent wrench doodad thingy my bobbers and do this, but I'm not. And a 
customer come in and then disappeared on us waiting on the he brought his whole door up here to have me unscrew two Adam's right set screws and take the cylinder off probably could have watched a YouTube video or two on how to do that but I guess it's just as easy for some people to take a door off the hinges. Wow, that's not really what I was expecting. I thought those were supposed to be welded on. Yeah, we need to say uh, this one was the ground. G. G. like breaking open a uh, what's this like breaking open a easter egg or a... okay we're gonna crack this sucker open like a coconut right coconut so we do not want to damage the end of it and uh, I think we have enough flux here we'll see what happens I don't know we'll see what happens YouTube was right. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this all the way out. Ooh, ooh. It was interesting in here, guys. Oh, whoa, I see a spring. What the hell is a spring doing in there? Hmm. So, this wire does have two disconnects. So I'm going to disconnect the disconnects after I take a picture of which side which goes on. Oh, oh. And they're both brass, so that's not going to help. I this was supposed to come out. Oh, it is. This could be a horribly bad idea. We shall see. Could be and is. Oh, I see. Ah, we've got a good fish. Ground control, control to me. Hey, there's another phone in the building that could be playing ground control major Tom. Damn that ground screw down tight. Hmm. Hey, we're gonna get that off, guys. I need a bigger screwdriver. Or a 
nuts that are nut driver do that. Having tiny nut trouble, y'all. We hate tiny nut trouble. That's why I have these tiny nut setter doodads here. None of which are probably going to fit. Oh, that might fit. Let's see. Oh, damn. It is not quite the right size. Oh, that just fell from somewhere. That's not good. Well, there's always spare parts, right? Uh, it came off of right here. Not quite sure how it went on there, but... Um, this is not the right size. This is not the right size. And those are all too big. But that's the right size. Ah, much easier. Here we go, y'all. Oh, down here too. Shit. Well, there's a pull the cover off the front. Ah, that's a good idea. Oh, you're a genius. I knew I paid you for something. Ooh, that's gritty. It's not supposed to be gritty. All right, there we go. Thank you, Wes. In the meantime, it's not going to let me get to the back one very easily because it's still holding it on so maybe we can uh, push this through and set this up on its end to see what it does it definitely at least can clean this side What I'm doing right now is feeling around the edge of this little doodad right here that undoubtedly connects to what is bearing or something right here. Uh, does that spare? Mm -mm. That's just a shack. Ew. Honestly, look at this little part right here. It looks like a, a brush almost. Uh, like you'd see on an electric motor. <laughs> like a carbon brush you would see, but it may be a carbon brush. I don't see how it lasted that long though. But there is definitely a little plastic or some kind of doodad and if we look around the inner part of this, uh, see some goop. Uh, and it looks like um, 
some kind of fabric or something. So we are goopy there, and it definitely has some kind of rubber tab of some kind on the inner surface. Must be for, uh, I don't know, why, why would they do that? But while he is inspecting that, I'm going to smooth this off just a bit. With 1200 grit sandpaper. And then I will probably run the same sandpaper down that thing and again I guess we're not going to do a whole lot to this inner bearing make that back may come off now that you get this cover off no the wires are connected oh, to the, the coils that are in here the, uh, the wire on top of the blue wire right here that soldered in is connected to the inner coil pack which you're not really supposed to take apart and then on the other side there are uh, from where this wire wires into these tabs, those wires go to the other side of the coil pack that I presume makes it spin <clears throat> and provides energy. Your fabric tab, where your oil goes in, and that's why it holds the oil. Oh. You take your shaft. But look at look down at all, all the stuff in there. Ooh, gross! Holy. Rockholy. There is literally a um, sludge and you now this is on the outer surface of the machine so it it's a combination of everything like I mentioned earlier it's a combination of everything but if we if we pull this out oh gross I guess hey, buggies hold on buggies Oh shit, I just broke a seal. Uh, okay, I just broke a seal. So let's pull that seal out. We'll put it back. How did it get fabric in there? And of course, solidified shavings. But I'm gonna keep digging and just pull out quite a bit of I don't know what maybe this was part of a seal fabric probably seal. the fabric out of that oil are in there um, so we we're gonna go hose all that out if you can get a good look in there well, can't obviously see let's go over here to the other camera Yes. Look at that. It's really weird that all that's in there. Not the shavings part, but the fabric stuff. So I'm going to take this outside and pose it down. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, we're going to try for the best and just put this back together. Find our number one and two. Number one, number two, number one. Get our seal. Hey, screwdriver. Um, yeah, um, I was making sure that I had. Okay, I'm pretty sure it went 
this way. It's got a ridge, so pretty sure it just goes down like that. No, that's not right. Put it together too well. I can't remember whether that was uh, like that or not, the, on the outside or the inside, because it didn't come out, it's got to be on the inside, like that, yeah, that's how it was, is that one recording? Mm-hmm. That's what it does, yeah, the ridge comes to the outside. And we find our number one and number two. Oh, what the hooked up? Get back that one there. Don't make me take it off again. Still sounds the same. But we did what we could, right? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be sad. Be sad. Let's go ahead Did you connect those wires in the back? Yes, yeah, I'm doing that. No, I'm talking about on the inside. Oh, you just got the cover off. it's very good to have another set of eyes doing this because I would invariably forget something and get it all back together and be like, no! Oh, damn it! Okay, can't forget this little rubber do that either. And uh, the wires stayed in the right positions. Let's hope. I'm pretty sure that's the right way they go in. We're going to have a complimentary siren come by in a minute as is common with my videos. So we got all the iron done there. there. All right, where are we at now, guys? We are putting it back together. Yay! And that's gonna work. Oh, oh! What's wrong with you? You forgot to tell me to put this doodad on. You're fired. I don't know how it went on, but it looks good to me. Better than not being on, I guess. And I uh, probably should have done the through bolts for this thing before I did all this, but whatever. I'm not a professional. All right, let's see how good my lineup happened here. You go to the hardware store. I need a bolt. They laugh your ass off. You just can't find that bolt anywhere. That's not, you can't go to the hardware store and find that bolt. Wish you could. I have thought of many needs for stuff like that. I 
hate that I punctured the paint seal on my nuts. That's going to drive me crazy when I'm looking at the machine. Oh crap. Does this fit there? Of course not. Of course it doesn't. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, look at that. I didn't even, didn't even mean to, but I did it right. too tight until you get them all in. I do know that. Um, I bet that ground wire is not actually facing the right way, so I'm not going to tighten that down completely either. Can you remember where it attaches to the frame right there? So I'll have to put the frame back in the machine. And uh, it's got another ground right there. Better safe than sorry, I guess. Guys, I think we're here. I'm gonna go put this back on the machine now. Didn't make any change. But I'll make sure it's full oil again. And uh just let it run. Let's bring the machine out and check out the machine.